Okay. Hello, everyone. Can everyone see me and hear me okay? Thumbs up if you can hear me and see me. Everyone see me? Oh, good, 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 good. Okay. I hope everybody's doing very well. Welcome to the third online cake wall. There's plenty of you here. We'll get started in just a moment. Good. Okay, let me just make sure everything is uh, how it's supposed to be. Okay, good. Wonderful, welcome. Okay, so uh, we'll get started in just a moment, but just before we jump in, uh, as before, um, I'm no technical genius, okay? So I'm gonna uh, apologize in advance if we have any technical difficulties <laughs> along the way. I know last week, not last week, last time we did it, um, I had a bit of a, a camera issue where the battery died on the camera. So I've got some spare batteries lined up just in case, but hopefully uh, we, we won't have to worry about that <laughs> this week. Um, yeah, uh, otherwise, uh, if you like what I'm doing, if you like this sort of cake one stuff, don't forget to support me. Shopping at Kendo Star, that's what keeps the lights on, keeps the camera rolling and keeps these things happening, okay? So kendostar.com. Okay, right, so uh, let's get started because we're already past seven o'clock now. Um, you won't need a shinai um, or anything right away. We're just gonna start with a nice loose warm up. okay? Okay, so nice and loose, just in your own time, just gonna jump loosely on the spot, okay? Nice and loose. We're not going to be doing anything too. Uh, we're not going to be doing anything too um, tiring today. Uh, the focus for me is always to be practicing effectively and correctly, rather than just uh, tiring ourselves out for the sake of it. Okay. So nice and loose. Let all of the tension out of your shoulders and your arms. Nice and loose and relaxed. Nice and loose and relaxed. Good. Okay. We're gonna stretch our legs a little bit, okay? We're gonna stretch our hamstring and our calf this way, good. Okay, that's it. Another side as well. Try to keep your feet pointed forward whilst we're doing this, okay? Everyone can hear me okay, right? Good, okay. And change. Again, like I say, keep those to toes pointing forwards there so you can just feel it on the back of your, your leg and in your calf. All right, this is really important, okay? When you get back to the door, Joel, make sure you pay attention to this stretch, all right? <laughs> you really do need to do this one. I've, uh, I've injured both of my calves because I didn't uh, stretch properly before practice in the past, so it's not very nice. Okay, we've had enough time off, Kendall. You don't want to get back and then have to have more because you've injured yourself, okay? So we're going to stretch sideways now. I'm going to stretch the inside of our leg here. Sit good. On both sides. That's it, good. Nice and loosely. We're not going, we're not going crazy today. Okay, we're gonna just rotate our hips as well. That's it, good in both directions. <clears throat> Good, okay, and we're gonna just twist our body this way and the other, good. So we've got all different levels of people in today, all different levels. So we're gonna be focusing on Kihon, the basics, because no matter what level you are, these are the underpinning uh, aspects of our kendo, okay? So even if <clears throat> you're sort of higher up Dan ranks, I'm gonna stretch our wrists in the meantime, by the way, Higher up in the Dan ranks, we've got to really pay attention to the details of what we're doing, okay? So we're still making sure we practice with purpose. Try not to look at it as stuff that you've sort of already surpassed and is a bit boring. And if you're near the beginning of your journey, then obviously do your best to pay attention <laughs> and follow as closely as you can, okay? But don't worry too much uh, if you feel like things are a little bit beyond your ability as well, all right? Speaking of which, of course, uh, I do want you to make sure you work within your own limitations. Right? I don't want any injuries today. I don't want you smashing any light bulbs or anything like that. Okay, so make sure you're working in with your, within your own limitations. Okay, let's head left to right and up and down and some light circles as well.
Good. Good. Okay. And we'll go back to just jumping lightly. Now, what's really important here is with these jumps, I want you to think about just letting the all the tension of your body just shake it all out. Okay. Just let it drain out of your body. Okay. So you're nice and nice and relaxed. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Just shake anything off you need to. Okay. <clears throat> you can get yourself a shinai, or if you're using a shorter one, that's okay as well. Or if you're using a, a bokken, whatever you're using, it's okay. You don't need to worry about it too much. <clears throat> so let's let's start right at the beginning. We're gonna take hold of our shinai in our left hand with the tsudu, that's the string. It's gonna be facing downwards, pointing downwards. All right. As we hold the shinai, we hold it by the tsuba, the hand protector here, and we have our fingers closed around the shinai. This is even when we're stood at the relaxed shizentai posture, my fingers are closed around it. Really easy habit to get into is to let your fingers relax like this, okay? And what will happen is one day you'll go to a really big seminar, you'll be translating for the sensei in front of about 200 people, and it'll hit you really hard on the hand, and it'll be really painful and really embarrassing. Okay, so you're gonna hold it with your fingers uh, closed like this, okay? When it's standing in what's called the Shizen Tai posture, where we just stood naturally, feet are about shoulder width apart, nice straight posture, but we're not tense like this, okay? Nice and straight, but I, I'm almost, it's almost as if I'm being pulled towards the ceiling from the top of my head, okay? It's not slouching or not too much like this either. Okay, nice and relaxed, but um, attentive, okay? The way I'm holding the shinai, it's angled, okay? I'm not holding it like this, I'm ang it's angled like this. And the skagashira, this part of the shinai, is inside my body line, can you see that? It's not out this way. Okay, this is incorrect to stand like this. Okay, it stays inside of my body line. And from here, we're gonna do day. Okay, so from there it's from our hips, about 15 degrees, keeping our eyes forward. Day. Okay, and we're gonna go up to tai do. Okay, as you bring the shinai up to tai do, comes up to your hip. Again, it stays at about a 45 degree angle here, and this is inside my body. In fact, it's in the middle of my body now. Can you see that? It's not like this. Okay, I know this is basic stuff, but let's pay attention to it. Some people put the thumb on the tsuba. If you're using a bokken or a bokto, you should put your thumb on the tsuba. Uh, if you're using a shinai, uh, it's optional. You don't have to, okay? And then we're going to take with our right hand by the tsuba, and we're gonna step forward with our right, hand, uh, right foot uh, to chudan no kamae, okay? So let's just look at our chudan no kamae, okay? So as we make chudan no kamae, a couple of really important points here. Our feet, pretty much our toes want to point forwards, all right? Now, <clears throat> everybody is different, okay? Everybody's different heights and different body structures, all sorts of different things, okay? So it's not exactly the same for everybody, but if you have the sort of image of pointing your toes forward, that's fine, okay? If you're in pain, forcing your feet to point forward, then you don't have to do that, all right? You can just have the sort of impression of pointing them forward, but as much as possible, have them pointing forward because that will help you push your body forward. Your body position here, okay, is slightly, slightly diagonal. My right shoulder is slightly in front of my left if I look straight on. If you were with us last time, you'll remember I said that, okay? It's not perfectly straight on this way. This is uncomfortable. It might, it might, you might feel like it looks nice, but it's, it's very awkward. It's not natural at all, okay? When we make a strike, our right hand's in front, okay? We don't hold our uh, hands at the same place. Our right hand is in front, so our shoulder has to come forward a little bit as well, okay? So if I stand side on, you can see my right shoulder is slightly in front of my left shoulder, okay? My left hand holds the shinai at the very bottom of the shinai. There's none of it sticking out the bottom there. And I hold it with my little finger and my ring finger tightly, uh, reasonably tightly around the very bottom of the shinai and then loosely close the rest of my grip around it, okay? My right hand goes around it and my fingers are sort of diagonal 
You see that? And my th my th my uh, forefinger, my index finger is sort of touching the tsuba or tsuba dome. Okay? But my fingers are together, loosely holding it, but with enough tension for it not to fall out of my hands, of course. All right? Incorrect is to hold like this. All right? With your fingers spread apart. Okay? See this quite often. Right? But you can't do this with your kote on later when you start to add armor. All right? So like this. The shinai is in the middle of my body, just in front of my belly button, but probably a little bit lower for my left hand, okay? And the height of my kensen, the tip of my shinai, is in an extended line towards uh, an imaginary opponent's throat. So it's a little bit lower than my own throat, okay? And again, we keep that same posture. So check now, check your chudan no kamai. Is this the best chudan no kamai that you can do? Is this the best one? And you should be able, okay, you should be able to move freely and relaxed, but also be able to immediately strike if you need to, okay? So the, the way your feet interact with the floor is that you're kind of grabbing the floor with your toes, all right, for want of a better term, <laughs> okay? This way, left heel slightly raised. Okay, and not too far this way, not too far apart that way, not too far apart this way, and certainly not too narrow this way either. If you're too narrow this way, although you'll be able to move forward and backwards okay, you'll have trouble trying to move left and right. Okay, good. So one more check of the kamae. Good, very good, very good. Nice and relaxed. Now, one last thing on the kamae that you really have to remember. This arm position, see how my shoulders and my wrists and my hands are positioned relative to the shinai. This is really important, this shape, all right? I'm not holding it like this, am I? Yeah, my, my armpits are closed. Okay, I know this is basic stuff, all right, but we'll, we'll get to more advanced stuff soon. But this is super important and it's gonna be really relevant to what we're talking about today. Okay, good, good. Okay, relax, relax. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just going to move the camera around so I can see everybody. Good. Brilliant, brilliant. Right, now we've uh, looked at our kamae. I'm going to just sw switch to the shorter shinai so it's a bit easier for you to see on the camera. But as I said uh, last month, and what I've seen a lot since last month in other online practices <laughs> that I've seen. There's a general overall issue in Kendo with uh, furikaburi, okay? Furikaburi is the upswing of the shinai, okay? Remember I said about this shape of the kamae here, the arm shape. This doesn't change as we raise the shinai. All I do is I just use my shoulders as kind of a, a fulcrum they stay where they, everything stays where it is, and just my shoulders raise the shinai over my head. But the shape of my arm stays the same. Okay? Can you see that? This shape, this shape. Okay? What I see invariably, <laughs> okay, all over is this one. Okay? See how it opens like this? This is what we have to avoid now. Okay? See the shape of my wrist here? It's not like this, okay? Same on my right hand, it's not like this. This way. Same as when I'm in my chudan no kamai, here. Just lift straight up, okay? Straight up, okay? This way. This way, and this is how we raise the shinai to make a large strike, okay? This is the correct furikaburi, okay? If we make a mistake with this, when we come to more advanced techniques later, when we want to make sharp, small strikes, yeah, we're not going to be able to do it efficiently because our arms aren't going to have automatically remembered the shape they need to be in when you strike. You're going to swing the shinai like this, okay? Instead of this way, okay, this way, you're going to pull this way and hit this way. What's going to happen is you're definitely going to get hit, okay? <laughs> As soon as you do this, you're gonna lose kotel, you're gonna lose men, or you're gonna, you're gonna lose one way or another. <laughs> All right, and even if you make the strike, it's not gonna be a good strike, okay? So, 
just 10 times on my count, all right? I'll say itch, and all we're gonna do is just raise the shinai. It's like Jordan from the kata. If you've done the kendo kata, the shitachi side does the uh, migi jordan. It's the same idea. Yeah, okay? So when I say itch, raise, and back to chudan. Knee, raise, back to chudan. Okay, let's give it a try. So come on, it. Check your chudan now. Is this the best chudan you can do? Itch. And back to chudan. Knee. And back to chudan. Some. And back to chudan. She. And back to chudan. Go. And back to chudan. And just relax a minute, okay? Because I'm seeing stuff on the screen here. And I want to just give you some points for the last five, all right? This wrist position here, when I raise to here is the same, all right? It doesn't go this way. You've got to be super careful of this, all right? That's one thing I've seen, all right? Now, you guys are like this big on my screen, so it's a bit hard, but not this way, okay? Stays here, okay? See that? See the shape of the wrist, okay? Like that. Not like this, don't let this happen, okay? Also, try not to push the shinai away from you as you raise like this, okay? Nice and natural, all right? Just from this chudan posture, nice and natural. The, the shinai is only about a fist away from my head. Okay, I'm not pushing it up or away, okay? So let's do the last five, just with some of those points in mind. Come on, dear. Itch. And back. Knee, and back, some, and back, she, and back. Make sure you're coming back to chew down here, okay? A couple of you coming back with the shinai two high like this. The last one, go, and back to chew down. And relax, good, good, okay? I know this seems like a really basic thing, but you know, practice by yourself or get in the mirror, okay? Just check in the mirror um, when you raise. Is this, is this what you're seeing? Or are you seeing, are you seeing this? Or are you seeing this? Or are you, after you come back to Chudan, are you coming back to here instead of your proper Chudan? Okay, let's uh, practice that. Um, and I think it seems like a small thing, <laughs> but it will make a big difference to your overall Kendall, okay? Good. <clears throat> okay. Next, <clears throat> I'll go back to the long one now. Okay. Next, we're going to uh, practice some Ash Sabaki, okay? Ash Sabaki is the footwork. So, I've done this, this is the third one we've done now, and I know we've done the same exercise three times in a row, but this is how important it is, okay? We do this every time. In normal times, in my dojo, we do this practice every time, okay? Whenever I'm in charge of a practice, we do this exercise, <laughs> okay? That's how important it is. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's too basic for anyone. So, we use uh, okuriyashi, okay, in kendo mostly. All right, we use a term called suriyashi. You might heard suriyashi. Suriyashi is any footwork that's sliding, okay? Sliding footwork is suriyashi, okay? We have okuriyashi, okuriyashi, this one, okay? Okuriyashi. And we have ayumiyashi, okay? Ayumiyashi. This one where we cross, all right? We're not going to talk about ayumiyashi too much today. We're just going to talk about the okuriyashi. So that's the one we're going to use in asabiri. For our Okuriyashi, we're often taught right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. And this is correct. This is correct. We're going to practice just that forward and back. All right. We're going to go from your kamai, we're going to go itch and knee this way. All right. But here's what you have to consider. First, it's not one, two, one, two. It's not that. It's one, 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 okay? Not one, two, 
one, two. Okay, you can already do that. It's easy, all right? Don't need to practice that one. You can already do it. Second, <clears throat> you need to move from your lower body, all right? So watch the position of my head. Watch the position of my head as I go forward and I go back. Stays level, right? With this blue shelf here. Stays pr pretty much level, okay? You don't want it to go not this way, okay? Nice and level. Pum, 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 okay? Forward and back, okay? I'll count each knee sun. Keep your kamae, don't let the kamae go up and down or, or falter. Kamae de. Itch. Knee. Some. She. Go. Look. Sit. Hut. Ku. Ju. And relax. Very good. Very good. Very good. We're going to do 10 more of these. One thing I want you to just think about though, so if I can get on camera, is when you're coming backwards, you must keep this left heel off the floor, right? You mustn't let it go like this. You mustn't let this happen. Okay, you must keep it off the floor here. Okay, hum, hum, okay? Not only, uh, not only do I want you to think about your head not bobbing up and down now, I want you to think about the movement of your hips, all right? Your hips. Your hips need to be parallel with the floor. Hum, 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 hum. Okay, and not this way, all right? This is super important because when you actually start to make a strike, okay, with fumikomi and stamping footwork later on, it's that that needs to drive the fumikomi, is your hips coming forward this way. That's what's going to give you uh, a powerful strike, okay? It, it, it enhances what's called a datotsu ryoku, the power in the strike. Okay, you have to have that. If you, if you don't, if your hips are like this when you do your suriyashi, uh, and this is, this is people that are higher up levels as well, like third down, fourth down people, experienced competitors, you see this all the time, all right? And they, they attack like this. <laughs> yeah, you must have seen it if you watched the you know, that sort of tournament, okay? This kind of thing, all right? Doesn't do very well when it gets past a certain level, okay? Those sort of people, if you ask them to do this ashisabaki, almost always this way, okay? So I have to think about how these hips move. Okay? 10 more. How am I there? Itch. Ni, some, she, go, look, hit, hat, ku, do, and relax, good. So, <clears throat> as we go into striking practice now, as we go into striking practice now, I want you to remember this feeling of your footwork, all right? And how your hips travel parallel to the floor, okay? This way, all right? And you move together as one, yeah? It's not one, two. We're gonna go one, all together as one, okay? So, <clears throat> We'll start off nice and basic. Everyone still hear me okay, yeah? Good. Nice and basic. We're gonna go with San Kyodo Shomen Subiri. So, from here, from your Chudan, I will count. Uh, itch. And when I say it, we'll go to Jordan, and then Ni, Mem, Sam. Okay? It'll be itch, knee, mem, sam. Okay? I haven't decided how many we're gonna do, all right? So we're just gonna keep going until 
I'm satisfied. <laughs> okay, good. Come on, there. Check your kamae. Is this the best chew down the kamae? And it's raise. Knee, men. Sun. It's. Knee, men. Sun. It's. Knee, men. Sun. It's. Knee, men. Sun. It's. Knee, men. Sun. Okay, relax a minute. Relax a minute. Couple of things. Good. Really good. Really good. Here's what I want you to think about, though. Okay. First, <clears throat> after striking, men, as you come back to chew down, don't let your shinai waver. From here, men, zanshin, chew down. Okay. Raise, men, zanshin, chew down. Okay. Not men, this kind of thing. Or often see this one as well. Okay, not this way. Okay, or not too high either. Okay, men, chu dan, zan shin. Okay, that's number one. Uh, number two, when you strike, when you strike, together with your footwork, we bring the shinai down, we raise just to the same place as we did before as we practice this. Okay, not too high like this, all right? And don't let your, don't let your head move as you swing the shinai this way, okay? Head stays where it is, mem, okay? And then with the strike, okay, it's about sort of in the middle of my face, sort of mouth level, it's where it ends, and my arms are outstretched, my right, right shoulder slightly in front, mem. Okay, and what's, what's difficult about this is this wrist position here and same on this side, okay? My wrists are extended in this way, okay? This shape under here, it's like a little, like a little mountain shape, like a little Mount Fuji, okay? Not like this, okay? This one, okay? Say okay a lot, I know, but that's that's how I do it. <laughs> so let's do another ten of those. I say ten, not ten. Uh, we'll do some more until I decide to stop. Can I do it? It's check this here. Check this here. Is it too high? Is it about a fist away from your head? Knee. Some. It's knee, man. Some. It's knee, man. Some. It's knee, man. Some. It's knee. Some. It's knee. Some. And relax. Well done. Well done. Okay. So next we're going to step that up a little bit. Okay. We're going to step that up a little bit. Instead of sankyo dosubiri, we're going to do ikkyo dosubiri. So this time from two down on itch, it'll be itch men. Chew them. Knee, men. Chew them. Okay, make sense? <laughs> now, before we start, this is something that happens every time we do this. <laughs> okay, something that happens every time we do this is because we're starting to move quicker, the swing starts to get smaller. All right, so I don't want to see this one. I want to see men. <laughs> yeah, same. Up to Jordan. This one. It doesn't have to be. Like this, yeah? From here up to here. You must clear your face, right? Not this way. 
OK? 構えて。1面中段2面3面中段4面中段5面中段6面中段七面中段八面中段九面中段十面中段。Take your kamae. You happy with your kamae? Is this your best kamae? Can you do another strike without having to move? It's men. And back to two down. And relax. Good. Very good. Good. So I know this is quite a basic fundamental practice method, but it's super, super important. Super important. <clears throat> a couple of things that we need to think about. So we're going to do another 10 of these. <clears throat> You really, I'm still seeing people not quite swinging high enough. All right, I don't want you to. I don't want you to go like this, right? But I also don't want you to just go to here either. All right, men, men, men. Okay. Secondly, all right, and this is really important, depending on your level now. All right, I want you to try and judge your own ability here. If you're still new. To kendo or in the early、uh, stages before getting any done, then I want you to focus on doing this really correctly. <laughs> okay, so you can, when I say itch, you can go men, back, knee, men, back. This is okay, all right? It's okay. When you make, make sure that you're striking with kiken tai no to your sword. Body, spirit, all together as one. So not this way. <laughs> okay, nice and correctly. Men, back. Okay, if you're a little bit more experienced, all right. Maybe you've got third dan, fourth dan, or more. And then you can start to add a little bit more、uh, realism <laughs> to your、uh, swing and. Try to swing with the concept of ichibioshi. Okay, so one step. So try not to. Again, if you're newer, don't push yourself to beyond doing it correctly. But I'm talking to the more experienced people. Try not to go one, two, too leisurely, but instead, ich men, ni men. Okay, pam. Okay, ichibioshi. Even with the longest shinai, I should have enough room. Even with the longest shinai, itch men. Okay, knee men. Okay, pam. Not too, not too. This way. Okay. If you're a beginner or、uh, still quite new, then please focus on doing correctly. <clears throat> with that in mind, let's do another ten. Okay, come on. Itch, man. Knee, man. Some, man. She, man. Go, man. Look. Shit, man. Hot, man. Cool, man. Do, man. And relax. Good. Well done. Well done. It's quite a basic practice. 
but for me, this is intense, okay? <laughs> the intensity of how you practice this is something that you can judge yourself and you can uh, adjust to your own ability, okay? Good. <clears throat> Going forward, if you practice this uh, exercise on your own or in the future, obviously when you're back at the dojo, exactly as before, please make sure that after striking men, when you come back to Chudan, not only do you have Zanshin here, but you have it here as well, okay? Chudan, and this is Chudan, okay? So I know my mic stands sort of in the way, but I'm not, Coming back and then relaxing this way, all right? It's really important. Come back to Chudan and can strike again without moving my feet. Mem, okay? Mem, I don't need to move. The worst thing is to have to go, man, this way, okay? This way, okay? It's no good, all right? Don't practice that way. You just get tired. You won't improve your kendo, okay? <laughs> what that will lead to is <clears throat> when you get to actually back in the dojo and actually fighting, you'll, you'll end up being the type that goes man, <laughs> this way, okay? And whilst you're going like this, they're gonna hit you, all right? You need to be able to hit instantly from your kamai man, without, without that, okay? Good, <clears throat> right. <clears throat> so next step from that, zenshin kōtai shōmesuburi, okay? Zenshin, forward, kōtai, backwards, shōmen, straight, suburi, okay? So this time, <clears throat> so I say ich, men, ni, men. One forward, one back. Simple. <clears throat> Come right there. Check your kamae. You're happy with your kamae? Best kamae. Itch. Mem. Ni. Mem. Some. Mem. She. Mem. Go. Mem. Look. Mem. Shit. Mem. Hatch. Mem. Ku. Mem. And come on, and relax. Well done. Very good. <coughs> very good. Very good. Okay. We're gonna do. We're gonna do another ten of those. Uh, we're gonna do ten of those, and I'm going to watch you guys. All right, and then afterwards I'll give you some some feedback. Okay. So first off, kamae. Check your kamae. Happy with that kamae. We're gonna go at a nice slow pace, all right? Because there's loads of you and I wanna make sure I see everybody. <laughs> Itch. Good. Knee. Now just check the position of your strike here. You happy with the position of your strike? Some. She go knock hits hats ku do. Okay, relax, 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 relax. Good, very good. Okay, now I can see there's a few, quite a few of you here that have been been in this uh, before, <laughs> last month and probably the month before as well. I can see a few new faces as well, which is really great to see. Uh, what I can see is there's definitely an improvement, all right? As we're moving through this, I'm seeing that improvement. I'm not seeing this, which is what I was seeing loads last month, okay? So thank you, I'm happy about that. <laughs> what I am seeing though, okay? What I am starting to see now 
is as we swing the shinai, there's two things that's happening. One, quite common in this group, this, okay? Men, 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 okay? Letting your head come forward, all right? Try not to do that. Two, swinging the shinai with our right hand this way, all right? It's a bit hard to see with the short one, but if I can show you with the long one, okay? Kind of looks like this. Men, 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 okay? Instead, I want you to try and swing as much as you can with the left hand and keep your posture straight, okay? And keep your head where it is. Mem, 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 okay? This position is important where you end. Push this way with the left hand. Raise, push this way with the left hand, okay? Let's do 10 more, and I'm gonna have a look to see if what I said makes sense. <laughs> okay? Come I there, take your come I Itch. Knee. Brilliant. Some. She. Go. Look, hitch, hatch, cool, do. Fantastic, I'm relaxed a minute. Okay, one last thing, one last thing I wanna give you, okay, because it's another one that I saw, it wasn't so common, there's a couple in there, right? From Kamae up to, up to uh, your furikaburi and down again has to be in, in this shape. What, what a few of you are doing, it's quite common, is pulling the shinai back this way and then using your elbows this way as we, as we strike. This is, this is not good. You're going you're gonna to get pains, all right? And you're not going to get a crisp strike. When you strike, it's going to be like flat. It'll be like top like that instead of pang, all right? <laughs> It's technical terms. Uh, so <laughs> when you swing up with the left hand, it's just straight up from the shoulders and then down from the shoulders and then pulling with the wrist here. Bam, this way, okay? This way, okay? Not, not this way, this way, okay? I don't want you to push the sword forward onto the men. You'll hit the men and you'll bust your shin out too, all right? You have to hit the, uh, if you imagine the men, let me grab a men. Sorry, okay. You have to try to imagine hitting the men like this, okay? And not like this, yeah? Men, men, not this way. Okay, you'll bust up your shinai, you won't score any points, all right? <laughs> So uh, let's do another 10 together, all right? And let's just think about that one thing. Okay, come I dare. Itch, mem. Knee, mem. Sum, mem. She, mem. Go, mem. Look, mem. Shitch, mem. Hatch, mm. Ku, mm. Ju, mm. And two down. And relax. Very good. Well done. Well done. Okay. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Next, we're going to spice it up a bit. So, we're going to do the same idea of one cut per count. All right, <clears throat> but this time instead of forward and backwards, okay, we're gonna go right and left. Okay, I'll go itch, mem, knee, mem, sam, mem, she, mem. Okay, left and right. This is really important, okay? What I don't wanna see, 
I don't want to see. <laughs> okay. Keep the core of your body straight. Okay. As I move left and right, same as if I move forward and backwards. Okay. Whichever direction I move in, I don't bob up and down and I don't lean side to side. Okay. Right then left. I can see there's a few of you that are doing this in a group. All right. So be careful not to bump into each other. Make sure you all go in the same direction together. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Come right there. We're going to start with uh, your right, which for me is this way. All right. So don't worry if we're going in opposite directions because I'm not sure how the camera's working out. But right first, okay? Itch, mem. Knee, mem. Some, mem. She, mem. Go, mem. Look, mem. Shitch, mem. Hutch, mem. Ku, mem. Ju, mem. And relax. Okay, make sure you're keeping kendo footwork as you're doing this, all right? Don't let your feet come parallel or flat on the floor, all right? Make sure we're keeping that. Let's do another 10. Control your center of balance. Itch, mem. Knee, mem. Sum, mem. She, mem. Go, mem. Look, men. Shit, men. Hutch, men. Ku, men. Ju, men. And come on. Relax. Very good. <clears throat> Very good. Okay. Couple more. Couple more. We're nearly there. So. Three months in a row now we've done this. <laughs> and all we've done is men's strikes. All we've done is men's strikes. That's fine. Men's the best one, right? <laughs> you don't need the others. You do. <laughs> you do. But today, and for Subudi, men's the best one. But we'll do a bit of a variation of men, okay? Instead of the normal men's strike, we'll do Sayu men. Okay, or yoko men. This is where instead of straight striking the uh, straight ahead, we strike 45 degrees either side. Okay, this is a valid target as well. Now, <clears throat> here's where most people mess up with this. They either, I'll just dug down a bit, okay? We're not gonna do this, we're not gonna do this, so don't worry, all right? <laughs> it's just so you can see me, all right? Or where most people mess up with this is they either, they do it, too shallow, okay, too shallow. They do it too wide or they do it unevenly, okay? All these are wrong, <laughs> okay? All of these are wrong. Sayu men or left and right men, yoko men, comes 45 degrees. Now 45 degrees is a little bit wider than most people imagine. Okay, it's wider than most people imagine. So that's why lots of people do it sh too shallow. Okay, 45 degrees, 45 degrees, bam, bam, bam. Okay, and the way I do it is I go back the way I came after striking. Strike, go back the way I came and back and down for the next strike, okay? Uh, <clears throat> as we swing the shinai, you'll notice my left hand stays roughly in the center line, okay? Because I'm swinging the same with my arms. My arms are the same. What's changing is the direction of my wrist, okay? It's pretty much just this action that's controlling the shinai, pretty much, okay? This way, this way, okay? I'm not using my elbows. That's where lots of people go wrong with this. They'll use their elbows to try and get that diagonal strike and then this happens, all right? And you, again, when you come to actually strike an opponent, you won't hit the men, but on, all right? You won't hit the men, you'll hit 
the cage like that, all right? You won't hit here, you'll hit here, okay? And you'll duff up your shinai, okay? So, <clears throat> we're gonna do back to Zen Shin Kodai, okay? Forward and backwards, all right? One forward, one back, and we always start on, uh, it's Hidari Men, which is left men, but it's our right side, okay? We swing from our right to left. Okay, that's how we're gonna start. Let's check that's in there, okay, good. Okay, let's give it a try. Just one forward, one back. Now we're moving the shinai laterally. Be careful not to smash up your house, okay? <laughs> Come on, there. It's bep. Knee. Bep. Some. Bep. She. Bep. Go. Bep. Look. Bep. Shits. Bep. Hutch. Bep. Coo. Bep. Do, and relax, good. Now, a couple of things I'm just seeing on the corner of my screen there as I keep seeing you in the corner there. Where you wanna stop the shinai is the same height about as where you would stop for shore men, for straight men, okay? And think about cutting through to the, almost, basically to the middle, okay? To the middle, yeah? To the middle, okay? I'm hitting stuff behind me. Yeah, to the middle, pretty much, okay? Don't don't cut down this way, all right? I saw a couple of people doing that, all right? The reason this subiri is important is in Kendo, we have an exercise called Kirikaishi. I'm sure you've heard of it, <laughs> okay? It's basically one of the most fundamental exercises in Kendo. And by practicing Kirikaishi, we practice repeated Sayumen strikes, all right, because this allows us to develop our wrist flexibility by controlling the shinai in this way correctly. All right, and that not only helps with making strikes like this, and of course we have strikes to the door, for example, that are a similar diagonal strike, yeah? Door, door, not so much that side, but sometimes, yeah? <laughs> yeah, although that's physically a similar waza, this kind of practice translates directly into techniques like suriyage waza, kaishi waza, yeah? Even uh, smaller, like uh, strikes that you would make like kote, yeah? This kind of uh, exercise of your wrists comes from this sayumen uchi, okay? So don't neglect this, <laughs> okay? So let's do another 10 uh, before we move on uh, to the last one. Okay, just another 10. Come on, there. Starting on your right to left. It's and knee. Bem. Some bem. she bem. go bem. look bem. Shit. Bem. Hutch, men. Ku, men. Ju, men. And relax. Good. Okay, a couple of things I just saw as well. When you're striking, all right, and this goes for both straight men and the Sayu men, the height of your left hand is quite low. It's about the height of your solar plexus. Okay? You don't want it to be too high. You don't want this to happen. Okay, yeah, it's quite low. You see that, it's like here. Okay, so don't let it come too high, right? Or you won't be able to make a, a correct strike. Okay, last one, pretty much. Okay, so, <clears throat> if you don't have space for this, you can just, uh, continue to practice what we just did, okay? It's fine if you don't have the space or improvise in another way, <laughs> okay? But what we're gonna do here is sayumen nidan waza, okay? So I'll say ichben mem, 
ni men men sam men men she men men this way okay right left okay ni dan waza let's give it a try and we'll go from there ready how might the ちめめ。ねめめ。さめめ。しめめ。ごめめ。どくめめ。しめめ。はちめめ。くめめ。じめめ。and relax okay probably the pace of that was a little bit too fast sorry my bad my bad <clears throat> was getting a bit carried away a bit excited <laughs> okay <clears throat> we're going to do another 10 of those we'll go at a bit of a slower pace overall but especially for anyone that is first down or higher, okay? Anyone that's first down or higher. When you practice nidan waza, okay? It's nidan waza. That means it's a two-step technique, all right? Whether it's kote men, kote do, men, men, as we're doing here, it's not men, men, okay? That's ippomitu waza. Okay, it's nidan waza, yeah? Man, man, you don't stop in between. That doesn't mean though that you just rush. Man, man, yeah, and you still have to cut properly each one, yeah. Man, man, you don't just bounce the shinai. Man, man, not like this, okay. But the intention and feeling is one immediately after the next. So you have to bring up your left foot quickly and correctly in order to do this properly, all right? So if you're short down and first down and above, bear that in mind as we do these next 10, okay? <clears throat> if you're below short down, please focus on doing it properly, <laughs> okay? Okay, <clears throat> come right there. Uch, man, man. Knee, man, man. Son, man, man. She, man, man. Go, man, man. Look, man, man. Shit, man, man. Hatch, man, man. Cool, man, man. Do, man, man. And come I there. Check your kamae. Happy with the kamae. Relax. Well done. Well done. Okay. So <clears throat> it's really important when you do nidan waza that it's one after another again, especially if you're over shodan or so. Also, in the effort to do it quickly or one after the other, people around between second dan to say fifth dan often have the problem where they will go, man, 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 as they're doing kirikaishi, okay? That like when they do kirikaishi, okay? Kirikaishi normally man, and then man, 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 is the right way, okay? The incorrect way, man, 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 okay? Don't do it this way. And that's the same when you do this subiri. Okay, not bouncing up and down, yeah? Moving forward and backwards. Man, 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 Okay? Good. All right. Last one, last one. Again, I want you to remain in your comfort zone, all right? I don't want you to, uh, do this if it's difficult. If this is difficult for you, please just do it standing. All right? But what we're going to do is we're going to go to Songkyo, all right? Songkyo here, and we'll do Songkyo Subiribi. Ich, mem, chudan. 
ni men chu dan. Okay, from Songkyo. Everybody understand? Thumbs up if you understand. Good. <coughs> Come on, there. For Songkyo, bring your left foot up to the right one and let your hips drop straight down. Keep your back straight. This way, all right? If you let your backside stick out like this, you're going to lose your balance. Okay? Keep your back nice and straight. Ready? Just 10. Itch. Mip. Knee. Mip. Sump. Mip. Shi. Mip. Go. Mip. Nook. Mip. Shitch. Mip. Hutch, mm. Cool, mm. Je, mm. Good. And from here, remaining Songkyo. From here, we're going to do Osameto. So we're going to take our left hand away from the Shinai, turn our right wrist to put the Shinai back to our hip with the string pointing down. We'll take it. So we're in our left hand by the Tsuba. So we're at Taito and stand straight up. Okay. We should now be at Taito. So the Shinai again is in the center and at about 45 degrees. From here, we'll do uh, Sageto and keep our fingers, don't let our fingers do this, okay? I'm still in front of the micro, like that, <laughs> hold it properly. And about 15 degrees, day. Very good. Wow, well done, everyone. I didn't expect to work up this much of a sweat. <laughs> Everybody did really, really well. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, very well done uh, to everybody. Please uh, do think about the points that I made. First one, just to recap quickly, from Kamae, okay? From Kamae, right shoulder slightly in front, okay? Lots of people try to do this and they end up holding the shin out like this because they can't they can't hold it properly, all right? And they send me an email. Have you got any short grip shin eye? They don't need a short grip shin eye. They need the right for, for <laughs> shoulder in front a bit, okay? Like this, okay? As you raise the shin eye, just from your shoulders straight to Jordan. Not like this, okay? And not like this, okay? As we swing, don't bring the head forward this way, okay? And don't swing with the right hand this way. Okay, nice to the left hand, keeping good posture this way, okay? If you're more advanced, when you do uh, your suburi, try to do ichibyoshi, mem, okay? And move in one motion, mem, okay? Like you are doing a real uh, gist and real fight. Uh, what else do we say? <laughs> uh, don't bob up and down, okay? Don't bob up and down. That's it. Once again, well done. I know we've had all different levels with us today. Some of you uh, who I recognize, uh, some new faces. I know there's some people in here as well, even that probably haven't even started Kendo properly in a dojo yet. That day will come, <laughs> okay? We're getting close to it every day. Keep up your resolve, keep fighting. And uh, I look forward to crossing Shinai with everybody for real uh, in the future, which is an ambition that I set myself, okay? I'm gonna come and see you all. Uh, don't forget, if you like what I do, Kendall Star. <laughs> Thanks for joining me again. I'll put the recording of this up uh, uh, as I did with the last one, so you can go back and review it. If you've got any questions on anything at all, don't hesitate, you can contact me, mail at kendostar.com. It doesn't have to be about Borgen stuff. If you're confused about something we did today, or have a question. I I'm, I'm here to help you, okay? Uh, let's keep Kendo strong even when we're away from the dojo. <sighs> Thank you. See you all next time. Bye-bye.